Hey guys, it's Ellen. Welcome to my channel. And today is Monday. And what does that mean in my channel on Mondays? Hmm. Oh yes, Mini Monday Madness. Yes. We paint mini paintings like this three inch square, or a little bit smaller, or maybe a little bit bigger, um, to just kind of like figure out something fun to do, get you out of the doldrums, kind of like makes you kind of be more creative. And today we're going to paint a mini greenhouse. <laughs> Isn't it super cute? Uh, I just thought I'd paint a greenhouse because everything is green outside. <laughs> Flowers are blooming, the trees have the leaves out. You know, it's full on spring here. Um, a funny little thing about this video is that um, in the video, we had a visit from a friend in my studio and you will hear me talk about the friend because I decided to scream when I figured out what the friend was. <laughs> so watch the video to find out what friend came to visit me. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. I'd love to hear what other things you'd like to see on Mini Monday. I think I've done so many different things now that it's like, hmm, what do I need to paint? So I always love the comments that you guys leave about ideas. It really helps a lot. And who knows, I might pick yours, right? So leave a comment below to tell me what you'd like to see. Also, um, check out my Patreon. I have ad-free videos, traceables, exclusive tutorials, and a live stream in the top tier once a month for me. There is a traceable for this um, greenhouse on Patreon today, but no need for it if you can draw a triangle and a square and a rectangle and some simple leaves. I think you can handle this. So without further ado, let's get painting this cute little greenhouse. So to draw a simple little greenhouse, basically making like a house shape. you got a square or a rectangle here going all the way across. There's a rectangle, right? going to cut it off here so you have a square shape here and the triangle for the roof and then you're just going to connect it here out at an angle so you have the slanted roof but I'm going to have my line going across and then coming down and down in the middle here then the line down here and then they're going to go across here this is the open space so I just have like a triangle here with a little bowl that would be the hanging plant and then inside of this uh, greenhouse we can do some plants, so just making simple like pots, right? And I have some uh, like an aloe plant, kind of just pointy little leaves going up like this. And I have another big plant here and a pot with big leaves, bigger like you know tropical leaves. You can have a smaller one here, and I'm putting in front of this a little uh, watering can, so it's just a slanted line, a slanted line, connect it, connect it. And then these little lines here kind of slanting and then like a little half circle and you just do like a little arm here and here and then down the front we could have little simple little leaves with a little rounded flower rounded flower pick another pot over here this one can be kind of curved with some smaller bigger like whatever leaves you want and put a vine here leaves and i'm gonna have some cascading like um, greenery coming down here and then I'm gonna do a little V here and then over in here I decided to put some like rounded kind of viney flowers and then some viney leaves here so what we're gonna do is paint all the leaves and the the um, the pots and put some flowers back here put some greenery back here and then and of course the watering can and then we'll go on top of where all the lines are with like a black paint or you could use ink doesn't really matter. So that's how we start that off. Obviously, it's going to be on a three inch square from Arsh. I'm using Arsh. It doesn't have to be Arsh. Um, it can be whatever paper you have. And I'll be using my paints. I just activate them with my spray bottle. Activation. Commence. <laughs> and obviously, this is a small painting. Use a tinier brush. Um, I can manipulate the painting with a tiny brush with this. I have an eight round or I have my prints in the eight long round, which is nice and small. This one's a really long point for a like skinnier kind of vine type of things. And this one's a little rounder, so you don't need to. Do. So I'll make up, mix up some greens. I like to mix up my greens. I use peacock blue. I have water jar up here and paper towel, obviously. I'm not obviously, but you know, use a paper towel or a towel, whatever towel you have. That's a medium green. We can put the same green here. We could add Prussian blue, make it a darker green. We can add a little red or brown to it to make it less blue. So I'm gonna add more blue in here. 
Prussian blue. See, now it's really blue. And I'll add some more yellow again and more blue. I'm making a paint a little bit thicker, less water. This one's really watery. This one's less watery. And I'll add maybe a, like a little red just to dull the color down a little bit. See, now it's like a brown green. Go back and add blue. You keep playing with this. It's like mixing colors is the part of the game here. Making all the greens that you want. So I've got a medium green, a dark green, and now of course I gotta make a light green, right? That's simple as pie. Yellow, teeny bit of the peacock blue. Nice lime kind of green. Let's start off with that. For the pots, you can make them any color. You wanna make them terracotta color, pink color. Um, I have this cadmium red light, which is a perfect color. You can add a little yellow to that, a little brown. See, like a little orange color, more yellow. Might add a little blue. Let's see what we got. No, don't like that color. So I'll take the red again. Got a touch of the Prussian blue. Let's see what we got. Yeah, more of a brown orange. I'm gonna add more red to it. Let me get that terracotta color. You can always test it on like a little teeny strip. See, that's a little too dark. Maybe I want it more vibrant, so I'll add more red. Right? That's a prettier color. And I can add more yellow too. I could even add pink. I can add some bright rose. Whatever. Maybe make it brighter. See? Or if I wanted to make the pot pink, like I said, I can go back in and add more pink. Maybe I want a pink tone. Maybe I want a blush tone. I think some yellow. Playing around with this color. I do think I want a pinker. I don't know why. So I'm going to add some more blush colors. Yeah, pink is in there. There. Pinky. Take some yellow. Getting towards the blush tone. Okay. So you can start off painting your green first, your pots first, you can do all of it. I'll just kind of whip through here and see I'm just gonna wash in. I'm always going back and tapping on my paper towel. And you know, this I can just paint right over where the flower's gonna be. I think they're gonna make the flower darker. Just kind of washing in my color first. And you can make it as flat or as light as you want. I'm gonna balance it over here the same color. So you can keep adding water color to it or leave it light like this. I'm going to add some more color to it. And then the greens, you're going to play around with the greens. Now, you could put a green in the background. I'm going to watch me do this. I'm going to put a green in the background because I'm going to paint things in front of it that are darker. So this is going to dry a little bit. I'm going to just show you what I mean. So I'm going to go, I'm, I'm not going to go over my watering can, but I am going to go like this. Make like a little mound, kind of green. Like something green is growing inside that greenhouse and you don't know what it is. So I'm going right over this greens that I have here and here. Right? And it could be darker, by the way because if you wanted to make this green in front lighter and this one darker, you could do that too. You know, so for the, for this aloe, I'll put that light green in and I'll put some dark greens in there too. Just gonna fill it in. You hear that fly? Somehow a fly got in my office and it's going to be making me insane now. <laughs> so then we have this, like, again, these dark leaves. So they're going to take this dark green. Oh, he's coming to say hello. Ugh. It's beyond annoying. Oh, it's another fly. Okay. Hilarious. That was an actual bee, not a fly. <laughs> And I had to get the husband coming to take him out because he was not welcome. 
All right, we'll just continue. So I'm just gonna make these leaves kind of fairly big. Just simple. And I'll add the stem. Now you can put a green color behind this one also. Just grab my um, burnt umber for the stem. Let's put that over here. I can just go right down here in the middle. It could be green too, it doesn't have to be burnt umber. And I'll go back and I'll add green rounded stem. Excuse me, rounded leaf. One of those big old tropical kind of leaves. Doesn't have to be like a serious looking plant. It could be something made up. Whatever you want to do. You can make the color pots, whatever you want to make them. You can make the watering can any color you want. Um, for this little plant right here, I was going to do cascading blue, uh, greens. So I'm just going to take my little brush and see I'm just making these little taps going down. Now the pot itself could be the terracotta again. Maybe I'll add a little more orange to this. See? It could be any color you want, guys. You don't have to follow exactly what I'm doing. I'm just showing you some ideas. And then just do the cascading green. I'm going to grab on the tip of my brush some darker greens. I'll wait till this part dries and I'll add some more green to the top. And again with the stem. Now you see how I have that color here? I can go right in front of it with the dark brown stem. And I can take the medium green. And it can make nice little leaves. They could be rounded, they could be pointy. Maybe they could be a little bit darker here. Let's see, I have that green in the background. And this one in the foreground. And then for the for this aloe kind of plant, I'm gonna put the green, dark green on the edge. Just playing around here. It doesn't have to be perfect, right? And you can make the little pot even darker. I'm gonna go back and do another swipe. This red tone. I'm going to be conscious of not getting this flower now. Right? And then again with the vine situation in the background here. I could just take a nice dark green, kind of wiggle it like that. Use your lime kind of colored green to make a little pretty light green leaves. And it doesn't have to be the same thing that I'm doing, guys. It could be totally different. Right. I'm going to put some little pink flowers here. So I'm going to use my rose, bright rose. I'm just going to water it down a little bit. See, just going to put a nice little round. You guys can paint a little round. You can draw triangles and squares and rectangles and you can draw round shapes. Right. You can do that round kind of bloom here. It's nothing specific. It's just a little round bloom. Do like a light pink. You can make it dark. I'll put a couple of them here. You can make them yellow. Nobody says you have to do them pink, right? Um, I'm going to add another little vine up here. Just making sure you can see me. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Sometimes when I zoom in, I forget. So I don't want to do that. Um, just a tip. I'm still using that eight round, which is actually fine because the, the tip is, works for me. You can make this vine a little bit darker if you want. See, and just making little brush strokes to create the little leaves that go on this. All right, then we're going to be filling in some greenery behind here and the pots. And then the, the watering can could be silver, it could be blue, it could be any color you want. I mean, I can make this terracotta pot more on the yellow side. I'm adding some yellow to that red color that I had. Just to change up the color tones. See, put a bright yellow in here. Why not? It's just going to change the look a little more. And then I have another pot kind of creeping behind it. Try not to get that flower in the front. Make my little colorful. 
Um, maybe I'd make the watering can. But I'd use verde blue or ultramarine blue or cobalt blue. Water it, water it down. You can still see the pencil marks, so I kind of want to get rid of those. And I'm just going to fill it in with a pretty blue. Any blue color you want. It could be gray. It could be pink. The watering can does not have to be blue. Mine's turned into like, because I had a dirty brush. It wasn't clean, which is fine. It's more of a grayish blue. Kind of worked in my favor, right? If I want to keep continuing adding that Brodier blue, it'll get brighter. Making it more of a flat wash. I just fill that in. Do the little handle. Little handle here. And then we can add some details in a bit. I'm just kind of washing in the color first. We'll have to wait till this dries before we put the pot color. Now you have this, just this plain yellowish pot. You could, it's dry now, I could add like an old orange kind of stripe to it. Still a little wet. Same thing with the red pot. I'm gonna add some more pink stripes. Change it up. Then we have those pink flowers. It can make it even brighter. See, darker. I'm gonna lift up the color a little bit. I thought it got a little muddy and I really wanted a bright rose. There we go. Same thing with this one. And then the little ones I put here, I can put this like a little bright dark dot and then maybe some little teeny ones up in here. See how bright that rose is? It's really pretty. You want some like flowers in there. You don't want just the whole greenhouse to be green. <laughs> so there could be another one peeking behind. We can put another terracotta part in the background. So I'm getting like an orangey brown color back here. Just be careful not to bleed into the other ones. See, just slowly put them behind. And then I'll add some green. Um, I think I'll do like a nice bright green because I have a dark one here. So we can just put some little, just simple leaves. Could just kind of fill it in if you want to. There's no rhyme or reason to any of it. You don't even have to know what it looks like for a plant, All right? You can take the medium green back here Put on some green, just green color like we did here. Kind of fill it in. If you want to make it darker, you can make it darker too. Might add some Prussian blue in here because I'm kind of losing the um, aloe plant a little bit. But I do want to fill it in with some green. So I'm going to add a little more Prussian blue. And it's gonna pop. It's gonna enhance the light green and the aloe. See, darker. Putting that darker green behind. Like that. Just filling that in. You don't have to do this. And put some little swaths. Washes. Yeah, just filling in that space. And like I said, you don't have to do that. I'm going to fill in some space with green in here. Just makes the greenhouse feel like, you know, like it's filled up. This little blob here, we can put little dots. So it's not just some green blob. And then just add stems to the greens in the front with the flowers. Just simple green color. You can add some more cute little grasses if you want. And don't be afraid to add more vines and things up in here. I'm gonna have this curl around a little more. It's not in my traceable, but you know, I like to add stuff. Maybe add a little more yellow green in here. See, I added some more yellow. Don't have to be going around that dark green leaf. Just filling in the greenhouse. 
And now that this part is dry, I'll take some dark green. I'm using some Prussian blue on my green and then make those little dot, dot, dots kind of cascading down. Some hanging over the top edge of the planter. See, dot, 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 and then underneath the little planter. So it looks like cascading planter. And then you can kind of tweak your other leaves. This is fairly fast in my opinion. Right? And then I'll tweak the, um, I'll take some ultramarine blue, mix it in with my Verdier blue, or just even that. And I'll make little stripes on this. And just add a little extra line like underneath here, underneath the handle here and here, just to give it the zh 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 more interest. <laughs> you don't have to go in and make real details with the pots. I don't think it's necessary. You know, if you want to, you can go ahead and do that. I might go in and fill in here a little more just to outline, but don't worry about it. All right, and I'm gonna fill in my dark green. You can put a lighter green on top of your leaf here. Now, it's obviously watercolor and you can't put watercolor on top of watercolor that's light, but you can take some white gouache. I'll activate some white gouache here. See, just a little bit of it. Mix it in with your light green. And then you can put a little line. See that? Right on top. Now, for the lines, I'm gonna add, just gonna go back in my little terracotta pot. Make it a little bit darker, by the way. Fix this a little bit. Make it a little bit darker, a little more red. Get it really bright. So when this is all dry, and we're gonna go in and we're gonna go over all these little lines that we did in like black. Now, I would say black, black. So you would need an actual black. And this point, I would say to use black gouache or a pen. Remember how I always talk about having some white gouache? Well, it always helps to have some black gouache. Now see, this is not gonna cooperate, right? Come on, black wash. Okay, so I'm gonna squeeze some black wash just a little bit right here. See that just a little pot right there? This is where I'll use my Princeton eight long round because the point is pointier than the, sh well, I could still use the eight round. But for me, I'm just gonna put a little bit of water on that black wash. If you don't have black wash, use, you can use a pen. You can use a neutral tint, just almost right out of the tube. So now we're gonna go right over those lines, going across over those plants. Why I say black wash is because I want to really see it. And it works great for this. Go right over all of them. Boom, boom, boom. Come down, except in front of the water can. You don't go in front of the water. Oh, excuse me, and you don't go in front of the flowers. I will fix that. You don't want to go in front of the flowers. <laughs> don't do what I did. Don't go in front of the flowers, in front of the water can. I do real time tutorials, people, but I will fix that. And I will show you how. So you go in front of all those lines that you made, not the watering can and not the flowers, <laughs> not the flowers. Right over this, come down. I'm gonna get a little faster. There's little lines there. Come down here. And this one goes across here, here. That cute little green. And of course we need a little line connecting the uh, hanging plant. So yes, I went on in front of that flower here. It's okay. I can just fix that. And how I fix that? Well, this is where the white gouache comes in handy. I'll take some white gouache, mix it with my pink. 
right? Take some magenta, whatever pink I have. And I'll just make this a pink flower in front. If the black starts to get muddy, I'll just lift it up. And with my brush, see I put a little water here, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And I'll grab a paper towel and just lift. It's like it never happened, right? But you can mix your white gouache with your watercolor. See how pretty that got? Nice, light, little, pretty pink bloom. Same thing here. Didn't think you could do that, huh? I think I've showed many tutorials how you can do that. And that's really kind of it. A little greenhouse, isn't that cute? You can go back in and tweak it. You can add some more light greens. Just like tweak, maybe put in some color back here. Right? I might fix my dark green. People making noises all around my studio today. It's that time of year. Jackhammers, bees flying. <laughs> I'm mixing up some uh, dark green here. So I'm just gonna tweak what I messed up a little bit in here. But this is it. This is a cute little greenhouse. You can add some more green. You can have them coming out of the greenhouse too, by the way. I, you know, you can have them inside and outside. And let's put little dots for this little green mound here. And add some darker green for grasses. You can make your flowers more realistic if you want. I was just giving you ideas to do something different. And that's pretty much it. That's our mini Monday madness. It's a mini greenhouse. Isn't that cute? Drawing simple square rectangles, putting in some flowers. Like I said, you can have them coming out. They kind of be fun too, coming out of the greenhouse. Gonna mix up some light green. You can have some tweaking coming out. Why not? I didn't have this in the. So my phone just died, but um, you get the idea. You can add little blue flowers here little pink flowers, little yellow flowers. Actually, the yellow watercolor you can just take straight from the tube. Just plop in some little yellow flowers in this little green area here. Play around with it, guys. I mean, there's no rules to just having fun. Can have this continuing out here a little bit more. Yay. <laughs> the greenhouse gone wild. So I hope you enjoyed this mini Monday Madness. Pretty simple, rectangle square lines. You're just painting little plants and then just painting on top of it the little greenhouse. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Um, tell me if you struggle with little mini paintings like this. I'd love to hear about it. I think they're great because it just kind of like teaches your eye to really kind of get into some details. So when you're painting big, you don't really kind of go for details, but sometimes it's good to learn details. And even though they're kind of goofy, small details, it always matters, right? Um, yeah, so thank you guys so much for stopping by my channel. Uh, take care, and I'll speak to you soon.